Yo, what is up and welcome to Brandon6942. And welcome to uh, Monday Night Raw. Tonight we have JD McDonough versus The Miz. We've got Gunther going up against Xavier Woods. Sami Zayn will face Chad Gable. Will Otis interfere? Also, in JD McDonough versus The Miz, will our three get involved? I don't know. No way, Morgan versus Becky Lynch for the World Women's Championship after Liv Morgan captured the World Women's Championship at King and Queen of the Ring. And now we have Drew McIntyre versus Damian Priest. What will happen during this match? I don't know, but let's get started with JD McDonough against the Miz. The Judgment Day is here. Everyone in their way is doomed. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Finn Balor, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. A unified front of highly decorated, highly skilled, highly dangerous competitors. When united, they are truly lethal. May they consider themselves inevitable, as if nobody can stop them. Well, nobody has so far. Facing a man in the Miz who knows how to win, who will take any opportunity to capitalize. Well, I'd say this is anything but awesome. He's spoken like a true jealous Z-lister, Saxton. You're not even allowed on this side of the velvet rope. And his opponent from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, one half of the WWE. The Miz, a two-time Mr. Money in the Bank, although he hardly earned it. Bite your tongue, Saxton. You're just jealous of the Miz's amazing legal skills. This is a superstar who truly makes everyone around him even better. Think about his gorgeous wife, Maurice, his two daughters, hell, even me. Uh, uh, what about me? What about you, Saxton? Miz doesn't want anything to do with you. Man, just look into J.D. McDonough's eyes. Cold, unfeeling. There's nothing there. Folks, consider this a warning. J.D. McKinney scored the pin. Oh, my. How in the world did he kick out of that? Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. Jumping knee strike. I like that. Deconstructing the knee there. He turns it around. What a hot shot. It's it all the way to the outside. Oh, 
Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. After everything these two men have... How do you escape the abdominal stretch like that? I love this. The old Mr. Demise. Click your heels, Byron, or just go home. Into the neck breaker, vintage Miz. Oh man, the neck breaker. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Insulting. And I don't think there was anything necessary about that. Knee to the gut. Consecutive attacks keeping McDonough off his game. JD needs to be resourceful in this situation. Grabbing an item from under the ring is perfectly within the duties of being a manager. We've seen JD McDonough overcome the odds time and time again. Tell me, Corey, how is he able to accomplish that? Simply put, Gold McDonough is full of spit and vinegar. Even if he's got a clear disadvantage, he'll make up for that with determination. And if that fails, then there's creative interpretation of the rules. Crippling attack on the knee. Kicks out at just one. He's still in this. Miz getting excited. What's he gonna do? <laughs> Hooked up. Shin breaker. The temple's being made a target. <laughs> Fighting back against Miz. Setting it up. Oh, brain buster. And a maneuver like that will leave you on unsteady legs, to say the least. <laughs> Sent to the floor. Here he comes. And he slides him back to the mat. Oh, my God. A moonsault. Tagging this outside. This could be good. Miz with awesome awareness. He's in a little bit of trouble now. When the Miz's attacks are that lined up, he can stop you dead in your tracks. Sent into the corner. Boom! It's okay, they weren't that pretty anyway. Right to the leg. A competitive spirit is alive and well in this one. Yeah, I think these superstars were actually fairly eager to test themselves against one another. That means they recognize each other as being legitimate threats to their own ambition. From the top! Diving elbow Are you kidding me? The Miz now in complete control. Yeah, Miz is proving hard to keep up with. It's a huge stop. I'll tell you, if there was any doubt in his mind, the Miz just knocked it out of him. Miz has a hook for the score. Finale. Can the Miz close this one out? Oh, oh. Miz putting it all on the line. From the top. Elbow drop. Just breaking down the opponent. McDonough lacking that surge of energy right now. JD's got to find his spot and take advantage. Turns the tide for the... Ooh, vicious 
vicious headbutt. JD with an explosive sequence here. And McDonough's making up for his disadvantage tonight by sheer determination. Miz turns it around, and he needed that badly. Good chance for him to regain his wits. He heads outside, count out's legal in this match. Miz doing what he does best and warming his way into the head of his opponent. Hurting the tables. Neckbreaker. And the Miz has suffered a lot of damage at this point. The Miz hardly able to stand his ground this deep into the fight. Referee's count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. And he tosses him back in now. Oh. This is what he feeds off of. Moments like this. This big match feel. Oh, that can rock you. Back elbow completely cuts them off. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Yeah, it's on now. Oof. Neither competitor is backing down. Back and forth. Neither one giving up any ground. He's one step ahead there. Ooh. Exhaustion setting in, and neither one of them is letting up. Boom. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. Toe to toe, treating each other like heavy bags. He's got a plan. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. He shoves him onto the announce table, looking to end this in spectacular. We're going to see it. Oh, call right through the table. They see McDonough unleashing the devil inside. One more time, throwing the heavy artillery. we had there we saw the Miz win and it was back and forth between oh, the Miz so and JD McDonough with the removal from Finn Balor it gave the Miz the upper hand and the motivation to win the match against JD McDonough but JD McDonough is not over 
with awesome truth as he challenges our truth next week with the miss set to be by our truth side next week what will happen on monday night raw next week next up we got boomper versus xavier woods here and ready to prove that the mat is sacred the following contest is scheduled for one thumb making his way to the ring representing imperium from vienna austria weighing in at 297 pounds without question gunther has made an immediate impact since his arrival a truly dominant specimen. And a specimen who is as ready as ever to chop clean through the competition. Hey, he puts others to the test, and they often come up short. He moves with such a purpose, absolutely no wasted energy. Well, that's because Gunther is saving himself completely for the battle ahead. Yeah, but he does manage to make his entrance as intimidating as possible. Xavier Woods is here. Please, no trombone. I'm begging. Play it. Play it. And his opponent, representing the New Day from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 205 pounds, Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods is a superstar who's dominant with a video game controller. He can rock a mic and then handle his business in the ring. Yeah, Woods moves around like he entered a cheat code, but Woods is for real, and Woods is as tough as they get. Born in a barrel of butcher knives and raised in a forest fire. Do, do you know what that means, Byron? Because I still haven't figured it out. Yeah, it sounds cool. Here in WWE, Gunther is known as the Ring General, a fitting name for a savvy in-ring veteran whose cunning tactics and ruthless execution are razor sharp. Few superstars are as commanding between the ropes as Gunther. No wasted movement, no foolhardy attacks. Gunther is the very picture of steadfast control. I'm sure the Ring General is intent on taking full command of this match and forcing things to go his way. And what about Xavier Woods, huh? Fuel body power, positivity, and an insatiable drive to always keep pushing through, to keep fighting. Woods' persistence is at least somewhat admirable when it's in the ring. I'll give you that, Saxton. But when it comes to pancakes or Francesca, what is it? I've lost count. We're up to Francesca 23 now. I can do without all that. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Woods' solo talents couldn't do much to help him against that attack. Yeah, Gunther just ramped up his intensity. Max Handel finds the mark. In full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. Knife edge chop. Big hammer connects. Connected on that. So, uh, how do you prepare for an opponent like Gunther? Uh, I don't know. Go a few practice rounds with a semi. This could do it. Gets the shoulder up at one. He's not even close to being done yet. Oh, oh, right down. The line. It's cinched in. This could be over. Right, this, we're going to free the arm and does just that. <laughs> he saw that one coming. Setting it up. That's the astonishingly crushing offense we've come to expect 
from Gunther. Gunther wants to finish this. A power bomb. Can that finish Woods? It's over. All in a night's nice work. Victory, guys, no contest. Looks like the power of positivity just wasn't strong enough for Woods this time. Next up, we got Sami Zayn and he gives Chad Gable. Will Otis interfere in the match? Let's find out next. And we know Chad Gable and Otis are being Here comes Sami Zayn! Underdog no more. He has reached main event status. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Sami Listen to the energy in here for Sami Zayn. Sami never gives less than 100% in the ring. The incomparable Sami Zayn, ready to give it his all once again. The ultimate measure of a man is how he stands at challenging times, and Sami is always up for a challenge. Here comes Master Gable. And his opponent, representing the Alpha Academy. From Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable! A true master inside the ring and would do anything to reach Byron? the pinnacle. Byron, yes. Shoosh! <laughs> Why stop doing that, Corey? Chad Gable always competes at the highest level, both mentally and physically. Oh, Saxton, stop sucking up. Gable will never. Uh, thank you. Guys, Sami Zayn has made the impossible possible throughout his career. Zayn fights with passion and knows how to defeat all types of opponents. Now, we don't need to list the trials and tribulations of Sami Zayn, but unless you've been stranded on a desert island, you know Sami's been through the ringer. Sami Zayn fights for what he believes in, regardless if he has zero supporters or the entire WWE Universe behind him. But tonight, seems like the latter. And he's about to get taught a tough lesson from Chad Gable. As tough of a competitor that he is, I don't foresee Gable being the in-ring valedictorian at the end of this match. Chad Gable has a lot of unique in-ring abilities, but what especially is going to make the difference for him tonight? It's got to be Gable's explosive athleticism. Gable has the raw power to take even the biggest competitors down to the mat. The more chances he finds to unleash his strength, the better his chances of winning this thing. Climbing up top, he's got big plans! He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Mark once connects. And they're going shot for shot, blow for blow. And Gable there got a little wrestling one on one of his own. Oh my goodness! Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. There it is. It's not But we may have some help here. Well, look out behind you. Well, they were distracted from the task at hand. Uh, it could be a very costly mistake for this superstar. 
And this one might be headed ringside. Oh, man! Devastating kick! This is just brute power. Suplex. Does that finish Sammy off? Toss back into the ring. The cover. No, he gets the. Joker, what do you have to do to put this guy away? For Gable. High risk territory for Zane. Up high. Cross body from the top. Great wherewithal on the counter. Rolling into a monkey flip. He's absorbed some damage already. An agile escape. Zane able to adapt. Sammy with a big boot. No doubt, Sammy just ended this. Sammy Zane down his opponent with two close lines. To and that just won't get it done. What a counter. Cut off with a kick to the gut. Gable was waiting for it. And what a maneuver we just saw there. No way. What a cross body. No sign of hesitation. And that risk gained big rewards. Oh, what an uppercut. So impactful. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. And that was an efficient form of offense for that move. What a barrage of stops. Zane's feeling it. You gotta wonder, what does this do to Gable's confidence? Gable setting his sights and lining him up. Oh, great. Rearranging our ringside furniture here. Clearing the announce desk. What a mess. Boom! He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all the strengths. And Gable's hopes are waning in this one. Sami Zayn has got everything going exactly how he wants it. Puts him on the table. What does he have in mind? We're about to... Take a thing. Uh-oh. And Sami is count. Oh, no. Oh, misses the mark. A completely ill-advised decision. Like a slingshot into it. He fends off the attack. Oh, that was nasty to watch. Not allowing that to go on any longer. Reigns down an elbow retaliation. Denied with an elbow. Oh, look at this. I don't want to be part of these problems. He puts him on the table. We know this will not end well. Ooh. Uh, suplex on the outside. Suplex from the announce desk onto the floor. What are you waiting for? Get back in there. You tell him, Saxton. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Oh, what a drop kick. Chad Gable goes behind, hoists up his opponent. Nice German suplex. Only for another. And why not? Let's get a trifecta. Nice. Gable on the verge here. Guys, did you think that this superstar would be able to get back into this match like this? Absolutely not. No way. 
and complete control of their opponent here. Into a DDT! That was a pretty textbook maneuver from Chad. Chad Gale with a German suplex not done yet, has not released. Or still claps around the waist. A second German suplex. Going to the well again. Will it produce dividends? And he's taking this to the outside now. And Gable now chaining some offense together. Great work here by Gable. Using his... Explosive athleticism to get the advantage and keep his opponent on the map. That's that focused mind of Sami Zayn capitalizing big time with that move. Oh, that could break an arm. Great display of power oh. to the German. And back in the ring we go. Going up top. From the top. Good Lord. Taking flight from ring post to ring side. Risking it all paid off. He is clearly looking to destroy his opponent. Oh, uh, setting, setting them up. DDT on the announce desk. Taking a chance one more time. And oh, man. Whoa, look out. Big time risk pays off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. And count outs are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Oh, man. Can Gable withstand much more of this? This is Chad's perseverance getting tested. Ooh. Heavy body shots. With Tom, what a close line. Chad Gable playing to the crowd now. Ooh. He's going for it all. He's positioning himself, closing in. Taking flight. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Great awareness to pull out the arm drag there. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. Here comes Sammy. Firing up now and making a comeback. Momentum time. Whoa. Look at this. Oh, just completely off target. There. And now that terrible error makes this a critical moment in the match. Gets him with the counter. Thrown back in under the ropes. Oh, look at this. Out to the apron. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. Hits to the core like that will render you useless. The energy in here is palpable. Something truly special is unfolding before our eyes. Oh, my gosh. I don't stop anybody. Straight to the floor. Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not going to provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. Saw it coming and got out of there. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Out of the 
ring. What's his plan here? count here. Everyone get out of the way. Chad Gable goes behind, hurts up his opponent. Nice German suplex. Hold the for another. And why not? Let's get a trifecta. Chad with the exclamation mark. Side can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. Need to hustle back to the ring. Just a few seconds left. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Oh, look at this. I don't want to be part of these problems. Don't want to be part of this crowd. He's heading back to the ring. Sammy making the climb. Oh, look out. Straight through the heart of the table. We are through the looking glass now, people. Anything goes from here on out. Sammy Zayn looking for it. A little thunderbomb! He's got the target acquired. Just a matter of moments. Nasty boot by Zayn. That's got to end it this time around. A deafening cheer from the WWE Universe is reverberating around us. Absolutely unreal. Boom, a kick. It is over. Zayn has this wrapped up. the storm here is your winner Sammy Zayn yes that's what I'm talking about yeah despite the earlier distraction they were able to focus and keep their eyes on the prize so Otis's entrance went off but he never came out which made Chad Gable go furious he was mad at Otis for not coming out and distracting Sammy said, he said, what gives? And Otis says, he's done giving, being ordered around by Jack Abel and has said, next week I will meet you on Monday Night Raw where it will be Otis versus Jack Abel in the main event. And the winner will face Sammy Sane, a clash at the castle. <laughs> Next up, we have the World Women's Championship match between Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch after Becky Lynch cashed in her rematch clause against Liv Morgan. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the
Listen to that crowd. We used to think of Liv as an underdog, but her accolades now say otherwise. They've been a tag team champion, a Money in the Bank winner, and a women's champ. The one, the only, the man, Becky Lynch. Perhaps the most popular star in women's division history. The climb to greatness was filled with obstacles for Becky Lynch. She's earned everything she has and is always seeking new challenges to overcome. I have all the respect in the world for what Becky Lynch has accomplished. My question is, will we see someone knock her off the top of the mountain? Introducing the challenger from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch! And her opponent from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, the WWE Women's World Champion, Liv Morgan! The referee letting our competitors take one final look at what this match will be all about. The decorated Women's World Championship. The Women's World Championship on the line here in this matchup. Whoever wins this one, no doubt we're looking at the unequivocal top dog in the women's division. Without a doubt, Corey, the top prize in the division for grabs. She hit the corner hard. Morgan showing no fear up there. From the top, splash. Elbow drop. Diving splash in the corner. The challenger's looking shaken. Yeah, scrappy Liv Morgan coming through there. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. What does Liv Morgan have to do here to get the advantage over Becky Lynch, Corey? Liv has to be focused on ring awareness against Lynch. You can't lock up with Becky in the middle of the ring or else you're in serious danger of being submitted. If Liv can control where the match takes place, she can limit Becky's options for dealing out damage. Face breaker 201 style. Looking at a gritty desire from Liv now. A jumping complete shot. Face first. The champ has this one in hand. Makes now. the cover. Well, I've noticed some friction lately between these superstars. Well, you can't be friends with everybody. I've noticed the same. There's definitely something of a rivalry here. We all know what she's looking to do next. Look out! Oh no! Crashing hard! to the floor. Talk about a jumping nothing. A real miscalculation on their part. Kick to the body. Foot to the belly. Look 
looking to take flight here. From the top. Whoa, what a landing. What a reckless attack. Off the top rope, putting it all on the line. Right in the bread basket. Devastating elbow. Looking for something here. Wait a minute. Hoist it up. Right on the barricade. Gut first. She's got to be careful here. The referee will count her out. Looking to soften her up a little there. Reversal from Morgan. Just hot shot it to the outside. This one is headed outside, guys. Right after the neck. Improving a bit slippery for them there. Becky Lynch, hoist her up. Manhandled slam. Becky Lynch is, is um, preparing to pin Liv Morgan, but then Dominic Mysterio comes running out and says, Win, Becky, win. Win the match. Why? She had her right where she wanted her. She doesn't want the suffering to end, that's why. She takes out Dominic Mysterio, throws him out, and does the manhandle slam. Hang it to the floor. Wait. What's she gonna do? Oh man. And misses on the springboard. About to get back in the room. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. The jumping complete shot. Ace first. Can it be? Will the rain continue? I don't know how these two have anything left to give after what we've seen here. Lynch and Liv, neither one giving an inch to the other. This has been an incredible match. What a title defense by Liv Morgan. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Women's World Champion, Liv She came in the champ. She's leaving the champ. What a reassuring victory for her tonight. The champ proving why she's at the top once again. Finally, we have Damian Priest going up against Drew McIntyre in a rivalry heading into Clash at the Castle as Drew McIntyre and Damian Priest will be facing each other at Clash at the Castle in the main event for the World Heavyweight Championship in Glasgow, Scotland, the home of Drew McIntyre. Here is a quick preview of that one. Damian Priest has arrived. A man who will bring judgment to all of WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. Representing the Judgment Day. 
from New York City, weighing in at 249 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Damian Priest. No longer cares for the WWE Universe, no longer cares for the rest of the locker room. Because he has found his true family, and the Judgment Day is their name. He can't make a mistake or McIntyre will dissect him. He's got to have a flawless game plan here tonight. The Scottish Warrior has arrived. A multi-time world champion and a Royal Rumble winner. And to this day, one of the toughest fighters in WWE. The Scottish warrior has earned every bit of respect he is given. He's transformed from the chosen one to a real life fire breathing dragon. Yeah, the WWE is the Scottish warrior's battleground and he will go face to face with absolutely anyone. Judgment, thy name is Damian Priest. We already know what this man has in mind, so let's get straight to the punishment. Damian Priest, really as impressive as they come here in WWE. The big man always looking to assert his dominance to make a definitive statement as a competitor. Tonight should be no different. But let's take some time to discuss the warrior in the ring. Part of what makes McIntyre exceptional is the raw intensity he brings to the ring. You just look at him and you can feel his drive. From the top! Drop. Good Lord. Did you guys feel the rumble from that impact? Drops the hammer right on the lower back. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Stomping. Ouch. Takes their breath out. Effective counter. Rolling outside, and he's looking off the rope. Oh, God! Now, that was a harebrained idea to try that. Was trying to find a way to attack, but completely wiped out. When facing an opponent like Damian Priest, it seems like the cards are stacked against you from the start. Corey, how can an opponent even the deck? This isn't a poker game, Cole. Priest's M.O. is to slow things to his pace. His opponent needs to disrupt that pace and set their own tempo. The audacity! And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. That certainly wasn't pretty. Oh, uncorked a big punch. Oh, did you hear that? Using their boot on the throat in the corner. He's lost some of his wit now. Stunts 
We want to control the tempo. This could do it. Gets the shoulder up after one. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Oh, boy, he's stalking him. Watching for an opening. Off the rope. To make a helo. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Powering their opponent up. Tombstone slam. Guys, they are getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before, and it doesn't end well. All the momentum has swung to Priest. Drew's getting cut off at the knees at every turn. Whip back into the ring. Damian Priest would like to be your guide south of heaven. Drew is completely out of it. Looks like some words have been exchanged. And finally, it's over. Here is your winner, Damian Priest. Damian Priest with a thunderous victory there. Damian Priest got exactly what he wanted, punishing the competition. So in case you missed the show, we saw The Miz successfully defeating JD Madonna. Finn Balor tried to interrupt, but he was ejected from the match, which then distracted JD McDonough and gave The Miz the overall win. We had Gunter defeating Xavier Woods, the former king of the ring Xavier Woods is looking to set off a rivalry with the current King of the Ring, Gunter. <laughs> Sami Zayn defeated Shaq Abel. Otis was meant to come out, but he never came out. Shaq Abel got upset, so next week there will be a match between Otis and Shaq Abel. And Sami Zayn has made things interesting, as he said, the winner would earn an Intercontinental Championship match. A clash at the castle. We have Liv Morgan versus Becky Lynch. We saw Liv Morgan win after Dominic Mysterio tried to come out and interrupt the match, but Becky Lynch stopped Dominic Mysterio with a manhandle slam. Liv Morgan then did a suicide dive to Becky Lynch and she took out Becky Lynch threw her back in the ring, connected her finisher, and won, and retained her World Women's Championship. And then we saw Damian Priest defeat Drew McIntyre, Drew McIntyre in frustration, took out the entire Judgment Day. And that's it for now, until next week. Peace out.